How many of you have uh, lived in a hostel in your college days? Fantastic. If that is the case, you will be able to identify with the experience that I'm going to share with you. It was August 18th, 1988. I just landed in NIT Road Kerala, erstwhile REC Road Kerala. It was around 9.30 a.m. And I was, since I was one of the few, among my friends, one of the few who got into this institute, I felt on top of the world. You name, you, that feeling was unbeatable and I came to REC with a feeling, REC, here I come, t-shirt, blue jeans, sneakers. I finished the Johnny formalities and packed my bag and packages into the brick and uh, went to the hostel. The hostel was nearly uh, 75, 750 to 1 kilometer from the college building. Reached my room, my room was room 6 or 3. And uh, went to the room, if you can picture the room, the room size would be, say, up to those windows, right up to here, maybe around 15 by 15, 200 square feet, square, on each corner were tables, chairs, lamp, table and chairs, all, there are, this was the four, uh, we had this, four people are sharing this room, two seniors, two juniors. Uh, as you enter, right up front was a window, two windows, and on the far right hand corner was a poster of Samantha Fox. <laughs> In white skin fit yoga top and then in blue mini hot pants. Underneath her poster was a guy <laughs> sitting, leaning on a desk, writing something. As I entered, he slowly turned around and he gave me a complete look over. I just left my bag and baggage, went up to him and said, Hi, I'm Prakash. And he said, Hi, very businesslike. And then he went on, Do you know the dress code here? I said, Dress code? Do you have a dress code here? He said, Yes, pressures are supposed to wear full sleeves shirt, buttoned up, pants, no jeans, shirt tucked in, shoes, leather shoes, no sneakers, and you are supposed to wear it throughout the day, right up there till you go to sleep. I said, okay. And then next thing, whenever you are talking to a senior, you are supposed to address him as sir. I said, okay, sir. And he said, whenever a senior comes in, you have to wish them. Good evening, good morning. Get up and wish them. <laughs> okay, sir. And then he said, okay, now I can carry it. So I took my corner and started unpacking. And this thing rang in my mind, so immediately I turned and changed to my shirt, uh, full sleeve shirt, pants, shoes and all. Now if, suppose, you had the privilege of being seated or maybe standing next to Samantha Fox on the wall, <laughs> you would experience or you would witness the scene that I'm going to share with you. So here I was, unpacking, putting things on the cupboard, and setting things up, suddenly I hear a commotion outside. The door is closed. I hear a commotion, and then as I turn around, the door gets kicked open with a loud noise, and in, con uh, in enter six guys. And they all noisily come and take, uh, take over my bed. All of them are seated in my bed, and their leader, a dwarf, I mean, you can call him a dwarf, <laughs> he was nothing more than, nothing more than five feet, surely. <laughs> Thick black glasses, bush, bushy moustache, rough hair, uh, t-shirt, you know, footballer's t-shirt, you know, sleeveless t-shirt, shorts, and bottom chuckles. <laughs> he came over. <laughs> All five feet, he pulled my chair from uh, there and he stands like this, looking at me. So, when I had this, I remember, so the moment this guy, People came in, I said, good morning sirs, with the best smile I could muster. Immediately, let's call him Einstein, with the hair and all. Immediately Einstein goes, I said, no sir. 
And I became serious. So he said, what's your name? Prakash Francis. And the sir came a little late before I realized I got my first. And luckily, I had seen it coming, so I got only one four fingers. So the first, my baptism had started. So the next question, what's your brand? Metallurgy, sir. Again, okay, full blast. Like my head shook like not rattle. Metallurgical engineering world. <laughs> so, <laughs> metallurgical engineering, sir. Next one, since my head was already rattled, was a very simple question. But, and the question was, what state? And I started thinking, sad, happy, miserable, solid, liquid. And I said, solid, sir. <laughs> Full sir. <laughs> <laughs> so then one of those guys who was sitting there says, Bakare ko angreji samaj nahi aati. Usko jara hindi ma samjha. Kaha se hai Einstein. Sir, UP sir. Full. UP? UP kya? Uttar Pradesh ko. So this went on. This went on for say another 10 minutes. And in those 10 minutes, by the time this group left, like a, you know, like a, as if a tornado had left, I who was there right on top of the world when I entered with an REC here I come. Now I felt like a doormat in a, yeah. you know, busy cinema theater. <laughs> I felt miserable. And on top of it, I was crying. And that was even more a shame. I mean, after the second slab, it was tears were just rolling. I was like mad. And I just went, sat down, and took my hand, the face on my hand, and my cheeks felt hot, red hot, and it was wet. I looked at Samantha for some comfort. <laughs> <laughs> and she looked back this way for me. But, you see, I was miserable. But you know, misery <coughs> likes company. So I was not the only one who was getting pity. <laughs> <laughs> so all the pressures were getting pity. So whenever we had uh, that day, evening, when we had time, we all got together and cried our goals. <laughs> cried on each other's shoulder. What is this? I'm not going to, one of them said, I'm not going to continue here. I'm going to try my IT once more. <laughs> and people were literally sorting. And I was like vehement. I'm not going to let this happen next year. I will never allow a uh, pressure who has come from so far to be treated like this. And my friends were not in agreement. And, you know, uh, uh, the first couple of days was a real miserable. Then afterwards, you get smarter, you learn the tricks, you try to be as inconspicuous as possible, try to not get into anyone's uh, eyes. But the guys, the seniors were always one step ahead of me. There was this three third button rule. Okay. One day I was in my room, sitting in my uh, desk, and Johnny, one of the senior, enters. And immediately I get up, good evening sir, and I was looking at him. Look at the third button. So I looked at his third button, nothing interesting there. Saleh, my third button, no, it's my third button, my third button. Look at your third button. So another lesson. And it, I mean, uh, it went on, and so one of the uh, funniest things used to happen when we used to go walk from our hostel to college. As I said, it was nearly 750 meters, and we were supposed to walk in a line. It was for our safety, that's what they said. We were supposed to walk in a line, <laughs> look down, you know, full sleeves, full shoes, you know, look down, one after the other. So the full line will be going. And as long as you did not look around anywhere, you are safe. The moment you looked up, that's all, somebody will catch you. So, I be go, I will be going, suddenly we will hear a voice. Oh, hero, keeps a chal. And just out of curiosity, you look up to see who is being addressed. Ah, hero hai. And it, uh, less than a month later, we had our freshers night and everything got, got over. And then, it was a semester got over, second semester, one year gone, the circle of life had completed. And then came August. And freshers from all over the world, all over India. And guess who was there welcoming them? You. Yes, same one, yours truly, welcoming them with uh, rapid fire questions. And the prasad going from room to room. The bakra had become the wolf. <laughs> <laughs>